The Kentucky Theater reopened on June the 1st uh, with uh, health and safety guidelines that uh, were given down or passed along by the Kentucky's governor. Um, it's certainly different from the way it used to be. Uh, by that I mean folks are required as they enter the theater to wear a mask. Uh, as you can see, the, we have six foot distancing uh, as well as uh, uh, requirements that uh, folks be patient as they're waiting to be serviced at the concession stand. Uh, one thing that's different is that uh, there are no new movies. Uh, we are showing uh, uh, all films from the libraries or archives of the various studios. Uh, although this coming uh, Friday, we're opening uh, a new film that's uh, called The Rental, and it's been the number one uh, box office for the last couple of weeks. Uh, it's a horror uh, thriller by uh, Dave Franco. Oh, I think that uh, it's been, a, you know, if you want to say, a throwback summer. Uh, you know, we've been able to go back and play uh, E.T., Jurassic Park, Stand By Me, uh, Mamma Mia, some of the uh, favorites that uh, parents actually saw themselves so they're bringing their kids. Uh, all of these films are popular concession films too. And drive-ins uh, seem to be doing well this summer. And of course, they don't have any problem with distancing there. Um, it's uh, been fun being able to show these various films, but I think everybody is ready for uh, new films. And uh, of course, uh, several films that we hope to play are uh, Unhinged, the new Russell Crowe film about a person with road rage, uh, Tenet, uh, the Christopher, new Christopher Nolan film that's gotten pushed back uh, several different times. So we're anxious to, uh, you know, for these films to be released. Typically, that you know, we have a loyal patronage, but we show a little bit different uh, type films, if you will, maybe sort of uh, lean to the artier side. But since those films haven't been available, and we've been showing more, if you will, the uh, older films, commercial films, uh, yes, we've seen an uptick in new patronage that uh, with the, both the Cinemark and uh, Regal theaters being closed, uh, waiting for new films, that these, uh, if someone did want to come inside to an indoor, we are the only theater that's open. So we have picked up new customers that folks that have never, just for some one reason or the other, that's never had the opportunity to, to come to this theater. Well, I think that once that someone's been here and that they've seen these theaters, both our auditoriums are larger than most of the other theater auditoriums in town. So we have the, uh, we already have the auditoriums marked off and there's no problem with the distancing. Uh, folks uh, haven't had any problem with anyone wanting to not wear a mask and they wear the mask as they enter and exit the theater. Uh, so, uh, and we have, you know, sanitizer that's stations available. And uh, so uh, I think that uh, People are very pleased once they've been here. If they are not completely, you know, afraid to come out, and it's just not, they're not just quite ready to do that. But once they've been here, we have folks that uh, have uh, repeatedly come back actually week after week, because there's not a whole lot of things to do these days. And uh, we can tell and, uh, from our conversation with our patrons that, uh, you know, they're just appreciative of having a place open that they can go. At present, uh, we're running uh, every evening, uh, seven days a week. We also run all day Wednesdays, uh, uh, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, uh, all of our films at this time are uh, 6.50 anytime.